wasn't able to memorize my speech. Everyone else. So when I was telling people that I was going to be giving a speech tonight, I went around and I asked for some uh, suggestions, maybe helpful hints, and I was told that my speech should only last as long as it takes for the groom to make love to his wife. <laughs> so, uh, thank you. <laughs> no, 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 but, but in all seriousness, <laughs> Joanna, I just want to say you look beautiful, and uh, you guys have put on a fabulous wedding so far. So, uh, So let's begin. Webster's Dictionary defines wedding as the fusing of two metals with a hot torch. And you know something? I think you guys are two metals. Gold metals. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Eric Cooper. And I know that none of you know Jay the way that I know Jay. Not you, not you, not you, not you, not nobody knows Jay the way that I know Jay. <laughs> I can't even tell you the things we've been through because we took a pact, we took an oath. More important than blood. But what I can tell you is this. True love is hard to find. Sometimes you think you have true love and then you take the early flight home from San Diego and you see <laughs> and, you, and, you, and, you, and, you, and you and you see two nude people in the bathroom blindfolded nude. <laughs> Alright, so just so you all know. These are all quotes from TV shows and movies. <laughs> so if you guys know Jay the way that I know Jay, uh, you would know that he loves quoting TV shows and movies. <laughs> so for those of you who caught along, great. If you didn't, sorry. <laughs> but in all seriousness, we have two very important people here today with whom out this day wouldn't be possible. And uh, as the night progresses, we'll have the opportunity and the privilege to get to know them better and to speak with them more. So I'd love for everyone to uh, raise their glass and let's say a l'chaim to the bar L'chaim. No, 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 no. It's more of a... Like you have popcorn stuck in your throat. It's a sound. Try again, guys. Slow time. I just said more. Slow time. All right. So typically in best man speeches, one is myself uh, would tell some sort of embarrassing, maybe crazy wild story, uh, something that happened between Jay and I from growing up. Uh, Johanna, I'm sorry to say, but honestly, Jay and I were just two boring guys living two boring lives. <laughs> so, uh, welcome aboard. <laughs> Now, while writing this speech, I did have uh, the chance to do a lot of reminiscing of firsts that Jay and I have had throughout our childhood growing up. We've known each other since birth. Uh, so, for example, the first time that I ate dinner over your house and refused to eat the green vegetables on my plate, and I would just sit there for hours, which meant we couldn't play. So, you being the great guy that you are, would sneak over when you thought Sam wasn't looking, which he always was, 
and you would come and eat food off of my plate, so that would be your old play. <laughs> I don't know who else would do that. That's a great yeah. plan. Yeah. Uh, another first time that uh, Jay and I had experienced is uh, one day we're walking down the street and we decided, hey, there's a piece of gum, let's eat that. <laughs> and that's a little weird, and, and, and I have no idea why we did that, Jay. You, know, you got nothing to eat, right? <laughs> well, one thing I can tell you is the first time that I heard you speak about Johanna, I knew that she was going to be the one. And. Although I've only had the chance to know Johanna for the past couple of years, I know that I'll have the rest of my life to get to know her as well as I know you. And I know you. I know you. <laughs> Honestly, I, I only hope that, that one day I'll be able to find someone who can make me as happy as you're able to make him. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, in case that wasn't obvious enough, I am available for any single ladies <laughs> or any parents who have single daughters, I'm sitting in the back. <laughs> so, uh, to, to, to wrap up this speech... <laughs> I, I just want to say that, that I know you guys are perfect for each other because if... If any major catastrophe ever were to occur health-wise, we would have advance notice, and you would be able to get ample supply of alcohol to tide us over for that time. <laughs> so, uh, to the bride and groom. Thank you! Yay!